this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar! Let's finally find out who Lake is after all the, this time. Been a couple months into this LP, huh? I know these things because I've kept a secret from you and the world. My real name is Dine. What? Well, yeah, we already figured that out a long time ago. How'd you get a Scottish accent, though? What happened? Were you just faking it? I, I mean, of all accents to choose to cover up your true identity, you chose a Scottish accent? A French accent? I mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a Scottish accent. It just seemed like an unusual choice to me, that's all. Ah, okay. Sure've uh, put on a few pounds there, Dine. But I suppose you're not out saving the world, and you're still level 99. Hey, that rhymed. Well, yeah, that would be the idea. Uh, you're the level 99 one, man. You could, I don't know, at least help us out. You're way stronger than Kyle. Oh, but then again, I do kind of have your sword. The Master Sword, but yeah. Whoa, look at that angry face. We've seen it before, but holy cow. Just imagine if he had red eyes. Holy cow. Um, oh, okay, uh, I was like, wait, what's going on? Huh. How powerful could it possibly be? Oh. I'm surprised Galleon wouldn't know about that, like, when we visited this time. Well, we seem to be doing a pretty good job of that. Yeah, just take care of yourselves. Just make sure you place one of my statues in each one of your towns. That's all. <laughs> well, no, I've, I've seen worse in JRPGs. Aren't I already a Dragon Master? Well, I suppose I gotta do it all over again or something. I don't know. Sounds like a plan. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I, I can't get my voice deep enough for that one, viewers. Sorry. Well, thank you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, let's see how this thing works. Another Master Sword? I like the first transformation better, but this one's not bad either. But, alright, we got our Dragon Master powers back. Not that that really does anything. No, we're not really any stronger than we were before. It's just purely cosmetic. But I do like the cake, so... Ooh, 
yeah! Well, the galleon kind of has that power now. We got the airship. Oh, well, we need to get some uh, adamantite from a meteor. In, or wait a minute, no, that, that's another game. Oh yeah, but all the dragons are uh, kind of dead. Or well, whatever happened to them, I don't know. I guess Cat Galleon just kind of left them behind in the uh, grindery there. Something I don't know. Huh? What do you mean, Nalls? What's he gonna do? Lift us up with those tiny claws of his? Well, what are you? Oh, well, maybe... Well, you do have the dragon wings. You can teleport us there. Whoa! Ah, uh, it's every cat's dream to become a dragon. Or just to be a cat and let people serve them. I wonder where Dine found, uh... No, anyway. Because I think... Remember, I think, uh... What was it? Alex's dad was saying something about... Well, he said Lake, but obviously he meant Dine. Brought Luna and Nal to him or something? And I don't know. He brought them to Alex's dad back in the day or something to take care of them or something. I don't know. Yeah, you were completely useless while saving the world, but I'm going to entrust the goddess of the world to you so she doesn't get killed. Maybe you should have explained it better. Well, that pro that's probably true. Well, once you weren't a Dragon Master anymore, apparently you couldn't do much about it. Seems like a pretty good plan to me. Well, the second life, but yeah. Fortunately, we have unlimited one-ups. Kind of reminds me of Seiken Densetsu 3. I hope you like pipe organ viewers. But first, a cutscene. that thing. The fortress of Athena is huge. Wow. I wonder why this was hidden beneath the goddess tower all this time. I never heard a word about it when I was studying to be a priestess. <laughs> That's because you always ditched class, honey pie. At least I've set foot in a school, you dumb bastard. You're both acting like children. Knock it off. <laughs> See what's happening? A desert of death is spreading below us. The fortress of Althena appears to be sucking the very life from the ground. If this continues, our whole world will soon be as desolate as the frontier. I don't think Galleon will stop at desolation. He wants total destruction. I'll never let that happen. This is how you do Final Dungeon music in a JRPG. <laughs> oh, I love the music here. Of course, it would have been nice if we could have landed at the top of the tower where Galleon is, but no! We have to start all the way at the bottom and walk all the way up there. Yep. But first things first, for some reason they didn't automatically equip Althena's sword, but we're gonna do that now. It increases your attack multipliers by one, and it also gives you an HP regenerative effect, just like the uh, healing rings did. So, let's check out Althena's fortress. Let's see what we got here. Apparently some memory sphere things. I don't know. What is this, Final Fantasy X? 
Oh! Huh, I didn't know about that. Oh. That doesn't... Well, I suppose you gotta go somewhere, but... How did everyone get here anyway? What, they just teleport here? To the moon, your highness! Or, wait a minute, I think I'm getting that reference wrong. Huh. Oh. So that's how everyone got here. Okay, well, that would explain it. Well, apparently it's kind of frozen over or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he wants peace his way. Okay, uh, let me just uh, make sure. Yeah, I've got Nash back on his... Uh, bow and galleons tier there. So everyone's back on their old equipment that I was using for the random battles. The hell rings back on Mia there. Yeah, we're pretty much all set and ready to go. So let's see what uh, new enemies we got here. What the? I'm trapped! Well, anyway, first things first. We got a new enemy here Death Warrior. Uh, let's see. Let's you have Nash attack everyone. We'll just use Flameria. There we go. Uh, Greek Death Warriors have no elemental affinities, one way or the other. So, uh, this should work just fine. Alright, go Nash! I don't think any of the enemies here are susceptible to sleep anymore. At least from, uh, what I was checking out, I didn't really notice that. Now, we're trapped in this room, so we gotta kill all the enemies in the room in order to get move forward. Alright, took care of all those Death Warriors. We just got one more new enemy around here. Which, for some reason, they give us boss music. I kind of like when they do that in JRPGs, when they give us boss music for, uh... And battles in... random battles in the final dungeon. Kind of like they did in Final Fantasy IV. It's a nice touch. Uh, let's see, is that going to be powerful enough? Yeah, yeah, we should be good. Apparently, we're stuck in Lufia 2 now. Man, this game makes all sorts of Lufia references. There we go. Well, I guess it is he was in Lufia 1 also, but yeah. I don't know. I just kind of think think of Lufia 2 when I think of uh, Gades. Or as they pronounce his name in the DS version, Goddess, but uh, I don't think that really works here. They're clearly male. So. All right. So for defeating all the enemies in this room... Now we can get out of here, so there we go. Okay, there were some enemies in the room above, below, and to the right here, but I just cleared them all off off-screen. Unfortunately, because of the way the rooms are designed, I can't just clear all the enemies off-screen in advance like I was before. Yeah, so we're going to have to do this one the old-fashioned way, viewers. Here we get the Holy Mace, so let's give that to Jessica. Nice thing about the Holy Mace is, well, you see it says Healing Staff on there, uh, that refers to its HP regenerative ability, just like uh, the Althena Sword. Um, they stack with, uh, I think they stack with Healing Rings, as far as, like, the regenerative effect goes. I think that's how it works. Not that we're actually going to be taking any damage against the random enemies in this dungeon, but, well, it's there. Here we got Necromancers. They are weak to Alex and Kyle elemental attacks, but I don't think we really need that. Um, I'm just going to go with uh, Flameria there. By the power of Althena. That should get the job done. Oh, huh. they're also weak to fire also. Huh. Well, there we go. But anyway, yeah. Uh, one thing that's unique about this dungeon is that there's only three new enemies, or three new random enemies, in this dungeon. So, yeah, there's no fourth one like pretty much every other dungeon. Now, the Dragon Cane, uh, we could give to Mia there. The problem is that you lose a whole bunch of agility because of the agility boost from the Wind Cane. I like agility for random battles, but for boss fights, that's a huge wisdom boost. So I really like that for her. So. We'll keep that around for a while. Not that I could sell it or do anything else with it. Okay, one last run. 
Okay, cleared out all those lasers, and here we get the Mighty Starlight Bow. Uh, nice thing about this bow, compared to the one we had before, is that this one, from what I've heard, has a 25% instant death rate. I haven't personally seen that, but I'm going to give it a try. So, we'll see how that works. Another thing about this dungeon, there is a healing point coming up later on, so don't worry about conserving your MP too much. I mean, if you're only fighting three enemies, okay, don't use Flammaria, but, you know, don't, like, worry about it. Oh, hey, Luna! Well, what are you doing here? What happened to, uh, oh! Oh, well, good job! Pack up our bags and go home. Makes life a lot easier for us. Oh, yeah, we kind of need to stop Galleon while we're here. No, why don't you uh, fly her back down to Earth and uh, we'll take care of him. Huh? Aren't you Althena? Hey, wait a minute. I'm starting to get suspicious here. I like how she's just like so happy when she's talking to us with her the expression on her face. Like, <laughs> Galleon's gonna take over the world and burn you alive! <laughs> <laughs> I just like her expression there. It's like, what the hell? What was that? Nuts. Royce! Haven't seen you in a while. What do you mean by that? It That didn't seem to really do too much to us. Oh. Well, okay, since you, uh, want your death that badly, I shall make it so. However the quote goes. How hard could it possibly be? Nuts. Well... Yeah, we seem to be doing fine. What did Royce do to us? Where did she go? Can we defeat her and break free of the spell? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!